Well, I've given it my best shot, and uh, unfortunately, exactly the same experience as uh, when I tried a while ago McBaron's Scottish mixture. And for me, flavour-wise, it's very pleasant. Um, it's got a nice flavour. It's, it's more, more like a Christmassy, spicy pudding kind of uh, flavours in there. I can't say that I particularly get a rum, um, but I just get a nice sort of fruity, sweet, aromatic kind of topping on there. Um, you do get a bit of nuttiness, um, I assume, from the berries, um, and that's really what I get from it. But as I expected, this just bites the bally hell out of my tongue. Um, I sort of let it dry, I've smoked it slow, I stopped in the middle for 10 minutes and let it dry out, sort of after having smoked it sometimes it helps to dry it out. Um, and literally within two or three draws my tongue was burning again. I'm, I'm obviously got a tongue which is uh, sensitive to Virginia's and I don't think that's something which is going to get cured um, unless, um, you know, over the years uh, my tongue gets hardened, if you like, uh, gets immune to the effects of smoking Virginians. Um, but I don't smoke that much that I think that it's going to have that effect. Although I, I definitely have a lot of output on, on social media, mainly on, on IG and on YouTube, it doesn't actually translate into a huge amount of smoking. On average, I have one, the equivalent of probably less than one bowl a day of, of uh, pipe tobacco. Um, I usually fill my bowl around half full um, and I don't usually finish the bowl right to the bottom. I'm a, I'm a type of person that likes to have change and, and you know, I find that when, once you get past halfway down a bowl it starts to taste bitter and ashy and in exceptional circumstances I'll, I'll go right down to the bottom but um, I do find that with Northwoods I can sometimes do that when I'm really having one of those classic kind of smokes where you're just enjoying every draw um, so that one I'll just you know take it as long as I can and some esoteric ones and so on you know they'll sometimes smoke and behave very well all the way to the bottom but on average I will usually um, start in the morning with a bowl of something um, and um, I usually have about maybe a third of a bowl then another third of a bowl later on and um, and that's usually it for the day in, in terms of pipe smoking and then in the evening I'll, I'll tend to have a cigar um, so my average I would say is a bowl to a bowl and a half of tobacco and one cigar and sometimes no cigars occasionally two but on average I would say it's one bowl and one cigar um, one and a half bowls perhaps so uh, the likelihood of my tongue becoming uh, like leather um, it's probably unlikely in the near future. So, unfortunately, although it's got some nice flavours, um, this is not a long-termer for me, so I'm offering this up. If anybody's got something nice to trade, maybe got some decent cigars you want to trade um, for a couple of cigars, I'm up for it. If you're interested, give me a shout. You know how to do that. So either on IG, which I prefer, or you can leave a message on the bottom of this uh, in the bucket. I prefer if you don't use YouTube messaging because I hate it. So either IG or here in the bucket. And then we can be in touch by email or something like that. Now you can email me direct as well, boscopiperuk at gmail.com. Quite simple. Um, so in actual fact, I'm going to say... I'm going to put in for trading purposes. Sugar flake. I've actually managed that a little bit, so I'm going to hold on to that. So, if anybody wants to trade that for maybe some other tobacco or um, some cigars, I'm up for it. So, catch you on the next one. Um, I just wanted to add um, a congratulations to Max of uh, Defiant Pipes. Um, really, really pleased to see uh, that latest news that you just broadcast on your channel. Um, could see the emotion. Um, as you started out the video and it obviously means a huge amount to you um, you know when uh, our families go through milestones um, these are the memories which we cherish for the rest of our lives so I um, I wish that uh, 
this should be the first of many such milestones um, and that uh, you should enjoy your family and uh, always have and cherish good memories with each other. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next.